Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. One of the weakest arguments that we kept hearing from these leftoids is my private company. Private companies can do what they want, they say. It's funny how these communist leftoids turn into corporate capitalism, private enterprise defenders the moment it benefits them. While of course that argument has been weak to begin with, it's become not only weak, but truly flawed and disingenuous. Because as we're learning, decisions to ban people, decisions to censor particular speech, actually didn't come from private business decisions at all. It's no longer my private company, but as we know, as has been exposed, social media companies have been taking these actions at the behest of the FBI and other organizations. There is no more my private company argument. It's dead over finished. Federal agencies were using private companies to circumvent the Constitution, which of course we already know, we've exposed, we've covered, not exactly new news, but the update that we have today makes it even worse. Not only were federal agencies subverting the Constitution and suppressing lawful speech, but they were using your friggin' tax dollars to do so. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so it's bad enough that your taxpayer dollars, I mean, baseline, were funding the FBI to take these actions. I mean, paying their salaries is one thing, paying for the department is one thing, but as we learn now from the Daily Mail, it's even worse than initially thought. FBI paid Twitter $3.5 million, quote, to do its bidding. Taxpayers' money was used for processing requests from the Bureau amid Hunter Biden's censorship scandal, as anger grows over secret state censorship of the American people. The FBI handed nearly $3.5 million of taxpayer money to Twitter to pay its staff to handle requests from the Bureau as it sought to ban accounts. A Twitter employee wrote in a February 2020 email that the company's safety content and law enforcement scale had collected $3,415,323 in less than two years from the FBI for law enforcement related projects. The email, which was revealed by journalist Michael Schellenberger, stated that scale had instituted a reimbursement program in exchange for devoting staff to processing requests from the FBI. The emails were entitled, Run the Business, We Made Money. The accounts that the FBI asked Twitter to ban were largely linked to conservatives and, quote, foreign influence operations. Twitter initially believed that the Hunter Biden laptop story was, quote, Russian disinformation. It was revealed Monday that Jim Baker, Twitter's top lawyer and ex-FBI general counsel, personally intervened to say that it should be banned. We'll continue on with the article in a second here, but let's pause and take a moment to really put this into perspective. My private company is what they say. Well, that argument goes straight out the window. The moment taxpayer dollars are paying for these platforms. It's not a private company company making private company decisions if they're taking public dollars and doing the bidding of public agencies. And you see the focus now, don't you? The FBI should be focused on serious crimes that threaten national security, tracking terrorists and terrible criminals and cartels, and of course the exploitation of minors, human trafficking and smuggling. But instead, as we see, they were mostly focused on banning conservatives. They were banning political speech, banning a particular side and people linked to that side using taxpayer dollars. I mean, this is wild. Baker told Yoel Roth, Twitter's head of security, that the laptop story should be blocked a day after getting a top secret briefing from his FBI colleagues, or former FBI colleagues. He wrote, there are some facts that indicate the materials have been hacked. We simply need more information. He went on to write, I'm guessing we are going to restrict access to these articles as a violation of our hacked materials policy. An investigation into Twitter's behavior around the 2020 presidential election by the incoming Republican majority in the House has been promised with minority leader Kevin McCarthy telling Fox News, this is going to be a much bigger situation than people realize. Current Twitter CEO Elon Musk said of the emails, government paid Twitter millions of dollars to censor info from the public, paying taxpayer dollars and of course planting their FBI proxy at the social media platform to influence the public discussion. Think about the implications once again. The FBI, which is paid for by taxpayer dollars, then used even more taxpayer dollars. This is where you should be outraged. They used your money to ensure that your democratic voice 
was stifled. Using your money to protect Hunter Biden and, of course, by extension, Joe Biden, a month out of the election because they knew the damning Hunter Biden files were about to drop, they had it censored from the online public square. They spent your money to get Joe Biden elected. Based on the data that we have covered, the censorship of the Hunter Biden scandal had a significant impact in voter trends. A good chunk of the American populace, had they known about the Hunter Biden story and laptop, would not have voted for Joe Biden. We know that for a fact to be true. And we are now learning that it wasn't a decision made by a private company, but rather it was a decision made by a federal agency using taxpayer dollars. That changes the situation quite significantly. The FBI has become an anti-democratic tool, a weapon used by the Washington Uniparty, the DNC, the establishment RNC to control and manipulate information and therefore control and manipulate elections. Period. That is now a fact. It is un deniable. And this really starts to show you just how corrupt Washington is, how it's always been, how it's become, but it shows you just how far these people are willing to go to secure and maintain their power and control. Cartels are currently infiltrating the nation. They're using the banking system, corrupting federal agents, siphoning billions of American dollars from the American economy as they push poisons on American citizens. And the FBI is more focused on what conservatives are saying on social media and using Twitter to subvert the Constitution because they know they can't outright censor you. But if they use Twitter as a proxy, then all of a sudden they can do it or get away with it. There's a massive issue when it comes to human smuggling and human trafficking. And it's especially more disgusting and disturbing when it comes to the trafficking and exploitation of minors. But they're more focused on censoring conservative speech online than doing what's necessary to protect children. They're more interested in censoring conservatives than they were ever interested in actually thoroughly investigating Jeffrey Epstein and everything that he was up to and everyone that he was connected to, an individual who was known to be doing what he was doing for nearly a decade and the FBI never even lifted a damn finger. There are gangs controlling and terrorizing entire communities, neighborhoods, and the FBI is more focused on censoring a conservative soccer mom. They're more focused on fabricating false narratives to impeach a duly elected president and stopping him from winning re-election. And that tells you all that you need to know. The word corrupt doesn't even begin to describe it. A shadowy cabal is pulling the strings. And the way that I think about it is the people who are constantly constantly under protection, the ones who stand to benefit from these decisions at the FBI, choosing not to investigate particular individuals or choosing to engage in online mass censorship of a particular story that might damage the reputation or the electability of a particular individual, well, those people and their friends are probably the first ones that I would be looking at if I was truly trying to get to the bottom of this. I've heard of a lot of different arguments as to why people don't want to pay taxes or don't believe in big government and high taxes. A lot of those arguments are good, but they all pale in comparison to this one or to this example right over here. Your taxpayer dollars are being spent on departments whose entire focus is to control and subvert American democracy. If that's not one of the biggest bombshells ever, I don't know what is. The media every second week of Donald Trump's campaign said, this is bigger than Watergate, this is bigger than Watergate. Well, this might be, and the media doesn't even say a word. The whole system's corrupt and it's a whole lot worse than you probably initially expected. Now the only question is, how do you fix it? That, I truly don't know. That's what I got for you guys though. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel if you guys are up for it. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.